2020. More like let's never do that again. Please. Please. It's 2021 now, which means all the bad things that happened last year, gone. We did it. <laughs> Woo! We did it. That's right, as of January 1st, 2021, no more Corona. P pandemic, done. In the first week of 2020, I went out to my local game shop, which is actually just called Game. It's a game shop called Game. We should do that with more shops. We should just call supermarkets food. Has anyone done that yet? Anyway, I went to my local game shop, which is called Game, and bought this. Turns out Pokimane is actually really popular, and she like releases calendar with that like yellow rat thing from the, from the surprised meme. Yeah, so for $4.99, reduced down from $6.99, what a bargain, I managed to get a Pokemon Gotta Catch Em All 2020 Everyday Desk Calendar. I thought what fun it would be for a freshly turned 21 year old at the time to fight depression with a picture of a Pokemon every single day. That's what it's come to. That's what it's come to. And here it is. It came on a little stand. You just put your stand on your desk. It would just sit on the desk like this and every day you just peel one off. That sounded really bad. And of course we have no idea how bad 2020 was gonna be. I mean, come on, what have I got? 2020 vision? I thought it would be pretty fun to write a little summary of my day on the back of each one of these Pokemon sheets. Not because I wanted to look back on it like, oh, what a wonderful year this was. It was so I could look back on it at the end of the year and think, oh my god, I really need to do something, my life is really boring. But as it turns out, uh, there happened to be a couple more eventful things happen in 2020. Um, God, what happened? Um, so like we started January with like threats of World War Three, and then there's some bushfires, and then I, I think I think it calmed down then for the rest of the year. Oh, there was an election, I think. Yeah, a lot of shit went wrong this year. So I suppose by complete coincidence, if there was any year I was gonna do this, 2020 was the year to do it. Not because I'm like, oh, we went out and partied and we did this really cool thing, and oh, we went to this country and blah blah blah. But more like because I have my own daily recap of what happened every single stinking day of the worst year of all of our lives. I mean, I imagine it was the worst year, but I got paid to stay home a lot of the time and just like play Tony Hawk, so could have been worse. As you may be able to guess, it's a daily calendar. There's a lot of things to go through. And as you can imagine, staying home for like 90% of the year, not a lot happens on a lot of the days. <laughs> Listen, I may be the coolest person in the world, but even I just sit down and watch Tenable well sometimes. Warwick Davis, man. What a treasure. What a treasure. I could do a stream where I read every single one of them, in which case, let me know if you want to do that because it would take a couple hours. So if like three people are going to watch and go, why are you doing this? It's probably not worth it. Pokemon Zero. It's Pikachu, baby. It's turning into PogChamp. We can't do that anymore. I'm gonna try and write what I did in every day of 2020 and then look back on it on January 1st, 2021 and regret it and then do something similar. <laughs> there were so many days that I missed. Like there were so many times where I had to sit down and force myself to go through like the last 10 days, sometimes like the last 20 days based off recaps of tweets I made and messages I sent people and photos I took. My memory is so bad. It is so bad. This isn't very eventful, but I may as well start with number one, which is Pikachu as well. New Year's Day. New decade, new hoomster. <laughs> oh man, it was a new decade, wasn't it? <laughs> January 2nd. Gollum, or Golem. Went to see Star Wars Rise of Skywalker. I clapped, I cheered, I fist bumped the air. It's absolutely everything that you hoped it was gonna be. January 3rd, Seeking. Worked 4 p.m. to 11 p.m. Not sure why they made me come in early. Finished Steven Universe, sad crying face. I'm not gonna read them all out like this, but I wanted to read this one out because I kind of forgot I had a job at the start of this year. You'll hear the details later on, but I had a bar job that I worked at since April 2017. And literally just before my three year anniversary of working there, all this shit kicked off. And I was gonna leave that summer anyway, cause it was a change of management and I just wanted to leave to do YouTube editing full time, which I do now. You thought I was gonna say I'm a full time YouTuber. Uh, I'm not making that mistake. I, YouTubers don't make money. Yo, shout out to my man Charmander. He's, he's ghost faced at the moment. I don't really know why. Oh my God. Holy shit. January 17th, the Petalil? I, I don't know many of the next-gen Pokemon. A year ago today, my dad was using 
one of those grinders to cut down some glass and because of the angle he was at he had to take the safety guard off he came down and it cut a bunch of tendons they like sprung up his arm and he had to have surgery on his hand and his arm to reconnect the tendons he's still got a massive scar from it and he can still only really move his thumb like that which is nuts oh my god i forgot about this this is before like any of the pandemic stuff happened january 18th chill morning practice ep2 on guitar did a long editing shift till 4 a.m and then Tesco had a hoax gunman and armed police came. Yeah, so in England, armed police are very rare, especially in our little town. But on January 18th, 2020, armed police went to our local Tesco because somebody saw someone with a gun on the roof. If you're from America watching this where a lot of people own guns, guns are not common here. Maybe in certain circles they are, but for someone to have a gun, on the roof of our local supermarket is kind of nuts. And I remember being sat in here with my window open and a helicopter came over and we don't get helicopters come over here often. Turns out it was a police helicopter. I just didn't see it. Um, I, I wrote down hoax because people thought that it wasn't actually a gunman in the end and that maybe someone was using the laser pointer or something it was ridiculous but like the whole supermarket is like the biggest supermarket in our entire town it was a lockdown before we knew what lockdown meant there was no bread being baked in that lockdown it was nuts anyway cool thanks for coming to my ted talk we've got a lot of months left to go january 24th gouda i got mcr tickets after breaking up in like 2013 maybe i thought i'd never be able to see him live and they came back and they announced the show in Milton Keynes of all places for some reason. And that show sold out. And then uh, my friend messaged me, who's a little bit of an insider in the, in the industry. And they were like, they might be doing a second date the next day. And I thought, hmm, maybe I could not manage to get tickets for that too. But then I went looking on Ticketmaster and found the link to the tickets to buy before they even announced it. So when, when, and that was meant to happen in June, 2020. And it didn't, it's meant to happen this June. Probably not gonna happen. <laughs> oh my god, this shit was so stupid. January 29th, Chikorita. Me and Lily went to the town over from us to see The Turning, but they cancelled it because the room was too cold. <laughs> Bought Super Smash Bros Ultimate? Is it Ultimate the new one? I don't know. I'm too lazy to stand up and check for £12 because somehow I had £44 on my game reward card. It's another shop called Game that also sells games. Watched Midsummer. Weird shit. <laughs> Lydia actually watched The Turning like earlier this week and she said it was really bad and it was probably a good job we didn't get to see it. It was so stupid, they weren't showing it in our local cinema so we had to go to the next town over because it said online that they had a show in that day. We went there, went up to the ticket machine, the film was not on there to buy tickets for. So we went upstairs and actually talked to someone at the kiosk and she was like, um, oh, we're not showing it because the room is too cold. I think her exact words were, it's too cold for human consumption, which I found hilarious. January 31st, Ladiba. Fuck Brexit. I still stand by that. I'm a musician. I'm fucked. February 7th, Munchlax. Closed up at work because my bosses received some bad news. This is a really weird one. Like I was meant to finish early and get a taxi home and my bosses got really upset and they were like, could you just close up for the night and just work till finish? And that was the night that the brewery that my bosses were working for kicked them out of the pub for like no good reason at all. One of the reasons I shit you not was that they were at this like company get together thing. And one of my bosses was offered some food on a plate you know, that you pick off and eat. He didn't want any, so he didn't take any, and they brought that up. We're trying to be nice, we're offering you food and you didn't want to food. <laughs> What's that all about? Oh, gotta love big corporation companies. Oh shit, yeah, okay. February 17th, we got Blastoise. Played Overwatch with Callan Lachlan, got three 15 year olds harassing me. No, sorry, he saw my profile picture, which has been this for like four years, because it's stupid and I like it. And they said, if I looked like that, I would probably kill myself. I was like, oh, good, haha, <laughs> good. But the bit I forgot about was right at the bottom where I said, oh, it's flooding bad. I almost forgot in like the chaos of everything that happened last year. In February, there were so many floods in my town. So many businesses and homes and all like that were being wrecked because it was flooding so much. You couldn't drive through the majority of our town because it was just underwater. It was nuts. <laughs> February 18th. Um, Houndor. Lily made us pesto pasta after I had a cry, lol, and we played some Mario Odyssey in bed. <laughs> okay, I think this bit... It was my lowest point of 2020, you know, pre-pandemic. Friday 21st, SimSage. Our boiler was broke for context. Boiled two saucepans of water and two kettles worth to put in the bath for a wash and my big feet unplugged the water two minutes later. <laughs> 
It was so sad just lying in this bath, which is tiny, by the way. I'm fucking massive. I'm six foot five. I'll just go it away and I looked, I was like, oh, there's no water in the bath anymore. Sunday, the 23rd of February. Mum took me and my cousin on a magical mystery tour into Wales. After a mediocre spoons in Ruthen? Ruthen? I, I'm not well. <laughs> I, I say after pronouncing all these Pokemon names. We picked up two puppies. Oh my god, they are two of the cutest and most wonderful dogs I've ever met in my life. However, this kickstarted one of the most stressful periods of my life today. Oh my god, I think it would be less stressful having a baby than it was having two puppies. Especially Hunterways, who are bred to bark. They were so cute and tiny, and I love them so much, but oh my god, all they did was bark and rip stuff up and shit and piss everywhere. They flipped our lives on our heads to the point where me and my mum had these very, very rare occasions where we cry in front of each other. February 26th, Shuckle. Chris Farrenday. This was the last gig my band played before the pandemic hit, and no bands have been able to play gigs in the last year, or if you have, you're probably a huge head ass. So don't play gigs, it's a pandemic, don't play gigs. We supported Chris Farron in Birmingham. We love Chris Farron. It was a great gig to make our last <laughs> for so long, I suppose. Monday the 9th of March, Argon. Ag Agron? Agron. I completely butchered. Agron. March 9th, Agron. This is when we went to Leeds to go record the drums for our second EP, which came out in September, and we were so lucky that we managed to record everything before the pandemic hit. <laughs> March 12th. Bidoof. Start a new video for Elvis before a weekend of work, followed by a trip to Amsterdam. Yay, coronavirus! So for Lily's birthday that year, her brother was nice enough to pay for her and another person to go to Amsterdam for a few days. It was me. I went. I'm a boyfriend. Hi. A lot of stuff happened. Our first night there, the city went on lockdown. It was all very weird. I made a huge video about it last year. You may as well watch that because it was a very weird few days. Friday the 20th of March. Finian. Called sick into work. Don't want to be responsible for anything or contract anything. I was feeling a little bit weird after coming back from Amsterdam. We were a little bit worried about the fact we'd been there and we'd gone through the airports twice and all that. But basically, 10 minutes after I was meant to arrive at work, Boris Johnson made this announcement saying that all pubs and restaurants should be closed. So although I didn't work this shift, this was my last ever shift at my job, which I was gonna quit in June, but then just never went back. It's so weird that at this point in time, we thought that like the corona lockdowns and stuff would be like a month, maybe two. Here we are, almost a year later, in lockdown again. Damn, it's great, isn't it? It's really fun. <laughs> this one just says, This Pokemon is holding a fidget spinner. Wednesday the 25th of March, Stunky. Prince Charles has corona. Diana is fist pumping me on the grave. Friday the 27th of March, we got Vulpix. Boris Johnson got corona, apparently. Mm, I'm still iffy on that. Monday the 30th of March, Metang. Tried attaching my mic to the shelf above my desk and ripped it out the wall instead. <laughs> Good. Yeah, it's still not there. There's still four big holes in my wall and I miss my shelf and I don't really know what to do. Oh, this is sad. Wednesday the 1st of April, Kingdra. Everything is fine now. April Fools. God, that's really dark. Oh no, it was the day that the guy from Fountains of Wayne died as well. Oh man. Come on up. Here's one of the dogs. Does he look like a tiny puppy anymore? I don't think so. Remember when you got your head stuck in the banister? I didn't tell them that. I thought it'd be too embarrassing. Sunday the 5th of April. Played my first game of D&D. It went terribly. Hashtag rip Katar Valor. <laughs> Remember the first month of lockdown when everyone was like, let's do all these fun things to make lockdown fun. And now we just sort of exist. <laughs> Tuesday the 7th of April. Raticate? I, I don't know. New Charmer album good. Proud of my street for not doing a clap for Boris. <laughs> Wednesday the 8th of April. War total. Bernie dropped out. So it's Trump v Biden which is just terrible. I you know a Biden victory isn't a big victory. E even if it's that small it's an improvement. Spent all day tracking backing vocals but they sound pretty cool. Got lots of editing to do. That's my stress face. Monday the 13th of April, Scraggy. I don't know who Scraggy is, but 
Spent some time cleaning up my Streamlabs OBS and testing out the green screen with it. Might start streaming again on Monday with a schedule. And I was right, literally seven days later, I did my first stream. I found out last week, which is nuts, that between January 2017 and April 2020, I streamed for about 430 hours. Between the 20th of April and the end of 2020, I streamed for 470 hours. The same amount I did in three years, plus another like 40, 50 hours I did in eight months, which is nuts. And by the way, I stream three times a week at twitch.tv slash knockoutwolf with a zero in the wolf because somebody took my name, link in the description. Give me my name. Oh, this is weird. Yeah, Saturday the 25th of April. <laughs> I think I was actually streaming Warzone and I found out that Kim Jong-un was dead. You know, that the North Korean dictator who is apparently not dead and nobody really knows. Is he dead? I, I still don't know. It's, <laughs> it's Tuesday the 5th of May. Who the frig is this? Sandy Gast, Jesus. <laughs> Elon Musk and Grimes called their baby XAEA12. I shit you not. <laughs> Sunday the 10th of May. Continue playing bully and raise £43.50 for my brother-in-law and my sister's fundraiser, which I then matched. So we managed to donate like £87. £87. Quick maths. I love my little community. Also, Boris is still a dumbass. <laughs> Great. Oh, and the day before that was the, the V Day 75 year anniversary. So there was loads of street parties with just massive groups of people holding hands and, and jumping. Ah, ha, 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 there's not a pandemic going on. Ha. Yes. <laughs> yes. Pro Skater Remastered. I've got the birdhouse skateboard right here. <laughs> got up at 6.45 because the dogs hadn't been barking and thought I might have killed them giving them milk for the first time in months. On Friday, the 22nd of May, Altaria. Today was really shitty for no reason. Had to cut up a video for Elvis and my day got 200 times better when me and Lily had a FaceTime takeaway and movie date. We watched Satanic Panic, which wasn't even that bad. <laughs> I usually expect them to be pretty bad. Oh yeah, had a cute night and then found out someone called Zizimonek Kokozek stole my Minecraft account, lol. I made a video about it if you want to watch. It's weird that we just come back in full circle, like it was a birthday yesterday and we had to FaceTime and not probably see each other. Oh man, it sucks. Oh my God, this is the first time I mentioned it. Friday the 29th of May, Snorlax, obviously. The rioting in America is escalating and I don't blame them. The shit I'm seeing makes my blood boil. Well, just summarize 2020. Regarding all this stuff, we're seeing the light show on New Year's Eve when it struck midnight and they had the Black Lives Matter fist in the light show. And I said to Lily, they're probably gonna get a lot of complaints about that. And they did. The gammons just love being wrong. <laughs> oh yeah, that's when we had a Minecraft server. Cool, end of May, 31st, a year since we moved house. Thursday the 4th of June, Garbador. UK newspapers care more about Madeleine McCann than Black Lives Matter, all the protests and brutality. Boris decides he wants people from the UK back. Fucking moron. I still stand by that. Make your mind up, Boris. Do you hate people coming from other countries or not? <laughs> this is this is fun. This is real fun. Saturday the 6th of June. Angry, angry, angry. The brutality at the protests is sickening. Facebook is full of ignorance and racism. Great. And then the next day, finally 100% of bully at 2.30 a.m. Holy crap. Bristol topple Edward Colston statue. Hell yeah. 100%ed Simpsons hit and run live too. Oh my god. I had Bully and Simpsons hit and run 100% on the go at the same time. Incredible. Kirby, I don't know what I did. <laughs> Wednesday the 17th of June, Crocodile. Got the final masters back for the EP and I'm so much happier with it now. We had a bunch of issues with our EP. I don't talk too fondly on that EP because we had a hard time making it happen. And I'm, I'm still so so on it sometimes. I remember listening to it whilst I was walking Angus for the last time with him living here, which is Cooper's brother. Angus went to Lily's for a trial day. Yeah, um, we had this whole very emotional week. Basically, Lily's family were like, hmm, okay, we'll have him, we'll adopt him, and we're like... <laughs> She's there the 25th of June, Bronzor. Lily and her dad took Angus today to probably stay forever now. I got a little bit choked up, but I'll see him a lot, and they live five minutes drive away. Stifle the pain with leftover mac and cheese. <laughs> Good. Thursday the 25th of June, Evie, the OG, the, the GOAT. She's not a goat, but the, the goat. Went to dad's for a socially distanced barbecue and then saw him for the first time since March. So strange. That was weird. That was weird when they started saying like, you could go and see your family and friends in their gardens and things like that. And so just sitting there at a table like with all this family I hadn't seen for a while, just with a beer like, all right. Friday the 26th of June, Tojp, Tojepi, Toge. It's release day. We got 200 plays. Exciting finally releasing a new song after 18 months. We released a new single called The Modern Art of Hitting Snooze that we recorded ourselves and it's probably our most DIY thing we've done. <laughs> wow, Wednesday the 1st of July. 
Pikachu. My boy, Pikachu. <laughs> it literally says that at the top. Quit my job today. No more bar work, I hope. Taking a risk, but the editing work should keep me going. Good job I like beans on toast. Lil Nas X wants a fursuit, by the way. <laughs> Great. I'm glad I put that on there. Friday the 17th of July. Petter Lil. Oh my god. Boris Johnson be like, yes, let's go do gigs and shit again by August 1st. Fucking dumbass. Let's not, maybe? It's January, and we're in lockdown. Friday the 31st of July. Little Ladybug. Um, I think I just edited a lot today. So here's a Club Penguin Penguin. Disney killed me. Tuesday the 11th of August. Croconaw. We filmed the rest of the Dear Sister music video, including green screen Jimmy Fallon, the pizza roof, Scream, etc. And there was a big storm. And then Lily and I watched Host in the Dark with Lightning flashing in the room, which was really cute, by the way. We now have two music videos. The first one was in my old house, and the second one was in this house. <laughs> <laughs> Wednesday the 19th of August, Furfro woke up to find this weird fake Bollywood movie with Brie Larson in about rice. Very weird. The alternative premiered Dear Sister and they, Eli, were so nice. The response has been really great so far. So yeah, this music blog that I really like premiered our song, which was really awesome. Thursday the 20th of August. Mamo swine. We went up to visit my nan and granddad with Cooper so they could finally meet him and then Lily could see the town he lived in. It was really nice considering that we hadn't seen them for like most of the year because of everything going on. It's really weird though, there was this bit in August, just in summer, where they were like, oh, everything's fine again. So just like go and see your vulnerable family members and go out to restaurants and eat again. They put us in this sense of everything is going to be fine and go and spend loads of money on the economy and all this stuff, which is Awful. Saturday the 29th of August, woke up at 4am to find that Chadwick Boseman had died from cancer. Rest in peace to a legend. But waking up in the night and seeing that Chadwick Boseman had passed away was just such a like surreal feeling. Thinking like, there's no way. Like, th this isn't real. You just assume that it's a dream and you're gonna wake up and, oh, that was a weird thing to dream about, but oh, man. <laughs> Always cut my toe off with a lawnmower, wonderful. Oh, this is really cool. On Saturday, the 20th of September, Elvis Yalian, who I edit for, used our song Alphabet Soup in the outro to his Mulan video. That video ended up recently hitting 2 million views, I think. And so we got a bunch of new people coming over and finding our music through that. Thank you again, Elvis, if you're watching this. Love you, man. Oh, it was also the anniversary of me graduating from, uh, from college. Damn, I haven't really been doing anything. <laughs> Friday the 25th of September, Volpix. Our new EP is out, finally! So is the new Nice album and it slaps. Corey tweeted out too. That's the singer of this band, Prince Daddy and the Hyena. I love them. Corey's always very supportive of our music. Very cool. The response has been wild. Even Nice followed us. Damn, I love Nice. Crash Bandicoot 4 came out too, and it's incredible. And by the looks of it, October was like a lot of me doing editing and streaming I'm watching Halloween films and TV shows, basically. Oh, and The Boys! I was watching The Boys. The Boys is good. Recording stuff with videos, including that horrible, horrible Adams Family movie. Monday the 19th of October. Illumis. Went to the pumpkin patch with Lily and her dad. It was fun and we managed to get some big boys. Had a banging chili fatigue, came home and finally watched Upgrade. Streams and Crash 4. Upgrade is so good. I think this year I need to watch more movies. My friend Aaron and Cal, they've been recommending me movies to watch on my list. I'm always watching different shows, but movies, I just never sit down and watch, and I missed out on so many good ones. So Upgrade is fantastic. Thank you, Aaron, for recommending that. Oh, awesome. Tuesday the 20th of October, Per Leon. Started watching Community this morning. Again, an Aaron recommendation. I'm still watching it. I'm finishing season five today. <laughs> Oh yeah, I had some pre-studio practice with Jack because we recorded a new song in October. Got Papa John's and um, laughed at the social dilemma. It was stupid. Oh my God. The social dilemma, the Netflix documentary that's like, oh, social media is bad. It is so awful. I saw so many people on Facebook like, oh, it really makes you think, but it was it was awful, man. Well, they're always watching, you know, and, and it was split up with these acted scenes. There was like a hologram of the, the social media <laughs> user like being spinning around like this. Wednesday the 21st of October, Walreen. Woke up at 7.30 to get ready to go to Stoke and record a new song with Sam Bloor. Sam was great, very happy with it. Then went to Lily's after and slept for like 11 hours long. It's a song called Eat Floor High Fiber by my band The Losing Score. It's probably my favorite Losing Score song we've released for like sonically and performance wise. So maybe go listen to it, I like it. Well, this is the time I was editing Elvis's video on Martyrs. That film, th there's something wrong with that film. Saturday the 31st of October, Halloween. The Carved Pumpkins and mine was Crash Bandicoot. Here's a picture of it. Yeah! 
<laughs> my girlfriend loves Halloween so much and she just made like this back room place where we watch TV and just looks so cute. Monday the 2nd of October, Wiggly Tough. Finally went to see my sister's house. Helped install some floorboards in the bathroom and sanded the side of the stairs. For context, my sister and her husband got a house that they had to completely gut out. So one day they were like, what are you doing? And I was like, I don't know. And they're like, come and do some work. Saturday the 7th of November, fuck Trump, Biden won, bye Felicia. Damn, I'm a nerd. Tuesday the 12th of November with Magikarp. We streamed Black Ops 1 till midnight and then Cold War came out and I streamed it till 3.30 in the morning. Wednesday the 18th of November, Manteen. Found out my nephew, who wasn't even two at the time, had tested positive for COVID, which was really scary. He's been fine. He's, he's, he's fine now. He shut the whole <laughs> nursery because of him, which is amazing. But yeah, it's scary. Just thinking like how close to home it can hit. I'm 21. Tuesday the 19th of November. Sandshrew, shout out. So someone got into my PlayStation account and spent 200 pound. After an hour on the phone, the bank said they couldn't do anything about it and to contact PlayStation. Can't get through to them either, LMAO. <laughs> yeah, my first video of 2021 was about this. Go and watch the video. It's got all the details. It was not a fun experience. A lot of weird stuff was happening uh, around the start of December because everyone was getting into Christmas mode. But like we were being put into these tier systems for Corona. Tier three being the strictest, but tier one basically being like, mm, wear masks, but everything's open and you can basically do whatever you want. And now it's like, everyone's in tier four, no mixing. Friday the 4th of December, Smoochum. Our new song, Eat Floor High Fiver, came out today. I'm usually nervous about release day, but I love this song. Sunday the 6th of December, my birthday, my 22nd birthday. Oh yeah, this is cool. Um, Our song, Eat Floor High Fiver, was named our local BBC radio station's song of the week. That was really weird. Saturday the 19th of December, it was me and Lily's fourth anniversary. We went for a real good meal at this local vegan Japanese place. Honestly, one of the best places in the world for food. I'm, I'm not very cultured and I haven't eaten a huge amount of places, but that place, holy crap. Friday the 25th of December, Christmas Day. Christmas 2020 was like when a TV show that's sort of been shit for the last few seasons does a callback to one of their older seasons or talks about cast members who are no longer there and you're like oh my god they're talking about when it used to be good wednesday the 30th of december oh man yeah i, I don't know he's, he's a little sea snail how did they chilling by myself watching the simpsons and getting angry at boris johnson and the tories we leave the eu tomorrow no one knows why but it'll be great apparently streamed cuphead for my last stream of 2020 yeah brexit it's stupid that's all i'm gonna say i guess i better read this out thursday the 31st of december lee vanny edited some of helps this stream of people who are in roblox I spent my last day of 2020 appropriately censoring lego porn for money <laughs> abandoned a complicated horror board game we tried playing for the logo game kissed at midnight so long 2020. And I got a little note that came on this extra piece of paper at the back. And that concludes 365 days of documenting my life. I never could have expected 2020 to go the way it did. So even if my life was boring this year, it will certainly be an interesting one to look back on. Fuck you 2020. Sincerely, Planet Earth. I don't think I could put it better myself. That was me. That was me who did it. That That's the joke. Two and a half hours later, here we go. All of these, Jesus Christ. I definitely skipped over a lot of stuff around the late summer because weird just became the new norm and we just kind of got on with it. And I guess that's what we're doing now. But I'm optimistic that this time next year, I'll look back on this and think, thanks shit, that none of this is a thing that we're dealing with anymore. Probably more likely look back on it and go, oh, you have got no idea. You got no idea how bad 2021 is going to be. As difficult as it can be looking back on such a hard time, I think it's also very interesting. And like, we experienced so much history in the last year. And in the first week of 2021, we experienced the, the attack on the Capitol in America, which is nuts. Like all this history is happening now when everyone's got a smartphone to record it at. Or they've got a daily calendar with Pokemon on. It's very strange, but I think it's interesting to talk about and look back on. After looking back on some of these, I, I kind of want to do it again this year, but I know I won't keep up with it. So maybe I'll do like a month in review. At the end of each month, I'll, I'll do a little recap of each month. I don't know. But thank you so much everybody for watching this. I hope it's been at least a little bit interesting. It's, I can't believe I've been filming for this long. Maybe let's end it on a positive note. Comment down below one thing you enjoyed about 2020. You might be rummaging around in the old noggin for a while, but one thing, just tell me. Let's, let's try and remember this year with a little bit of positivity. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. My name's been Brody, otherwise known as Knockout Wolf. 
go follow me on Twitch, Twitter, whatever. Uh, like the video, subscribe. Or, do, or don't. I'm not your legal guardian. What? It would be cool, though. It would be real cool. I'm going to go and burn these and never look at them again. Bye! Little did I know I just cried all year.